Some are content with being warm and cozy indoors for the winter. However, others are out in search of adventure. And some of those in the adventure group spent a snowy Saturday here at Camp Cavell, taking in all that the Michigan winter can offer. Camp Cavell is a three season camp. So we're actually closed right now, but we opened a few buildings and we're having families up. We know that it's so important to get everybody out. We have 55 acres so that everybody will be safe and apart from each other. And they are doing COVID safe hot dog cooking. We have s'mores and we also are going sledding. And then one of the most incredible things here is we teach about the Great Lakes. So we have to have people go down and get on the ice edge where we have it marked safely. And we are exploring the ice down there and seeing the beauty that's on the lake. The other thing that people are doing is it's a little bit of a hike, but we have two alpacas in my backyard. I live here at camp and they're in my backyard and they hike over and they are actually getting them to eat right out of their hand today. When they come into this property, you drive in and there's a house up front and people think they're going into somebody's backyard. And then they drive in this drive and it curves back and forth and they go through the woods and the sparkling sunshine and they come out and you can see Lake Huron. We sit on a high bluff over Lake Huron. So once we open, we do all kinds of things. We have um, me and my mom weekends, women's getaway weekends, Halloween weekends, family weekends. And then we also do summer camp for like stay over week long camp for girls and boys. We also do day camp and we actually pick up at Marysville and um, Fort Gratiot Myers and bring kids up every day to come and have fun here at camp. The other thing that we do at the same time is we love to help other community groups in the community. So our first week here is usually muscular dystrophy comes for a week camp here. And then the next two weeks are kids that have gone through are in the foster care system and they get to come up for a camp. A wonderful church sponsors that. We have Boy Scouts, Girl Scout groups, churches. We take groups up to use the camp, but that's why we made family weekends so individuals can come too. This is really exciting that um, usually we have 60 or 70 people come into our event and so many people needed to be outside. The sunshine hit on the right day. The snow was perfect. The lake gave us that ice and we had 125 people. We want to thank the community and, and look at our staff and volunteers who we have run through the COVID last year. We're running through it this year and um, it's not easy. And we just feel very strongly here that people need this outdoor experience and that they're going to need it more than ever. Demand for this event was very high. In fact, it was completely full for this weekend. However, the following weekend on March 6th, they are doing the same event once again to help more people be a part of it. For EBW TV, I'm Annie Naraki.